Here's the thing, I don't need that projection because when yeah, I because you got that Goku skin, like this is Manny skin and this is like the fragrance projector. <laughs> Hey Forum, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station. I'm a random place in Ottawa with a good friend, Jesse Abawaji. Jesse Abawaji coming to you guys live and direct. I'm with my man Manny here today, catching up. And we have something interesting for you. This is going to be a hot or not fragrance edition. So this has been a mainstay on channels related to mine for a minute now. But we're going to take the top 10 most rated scents from Fragranica, both niche and designer, and get to them. Starting with the designer right now, so we'll take a look at what they have, what has been popping on that site, and we'll see how we actually feel about it. I hope nobody gets offended, but just so you know, these are all just opinions, you know? Don't get hurt if your favorite fragrance gets flamed. But it happens. <laughs> it happens for sure. We're gonna count down from men slash unisex 10 to 1. So the first one is Allure Alm Spore at number 10. Allure Alm Spore, hot or not? None, simply because I, I haven't gravitated towards it to be honest, so not for me. Not because it's not a great scent or nothing like that, it just hasn't grabbed my attention. Not like a Deschamps Blanche. So. Okay, that's fair. Honestly, a Deschamps Blanche is kind of where it's at for a summer gourmand when it comes to the Chanel Allure Alm line, or just designer fragrances, period. Allure Alm Spore, definitely right now in 2018, 2019. I'd have to say not. Uh, there's a number of fresh fragrances I'd recommend over it, although it's a nice all to hit it, orange, fun. It's just not what I'm looking for in 2019. All right, next one is uh, Le Mans, hot or not? Le Mans, I would have to say hot, man. Just based on the legacy and what they've been able to build off that one scent, gotta give it up to us. So that's hot. fair. For the sake of I'm not reaching for it in 2018, 2019, that's why I'm going to say not, but I'd still respect the legacy. I'm kind of just done with certain scents resting on their laurels right now and the legacy and just like flanker in their way to it yeah and to be honest the flankers barring that one like ultra mall has been rumored to be discontinued for example i'm just gonna say not uh but it's still a lovely scent so number eight we have the one by dolce and gabbana hot or not not simply based on the lackadaisical performance just come on you gotta do better than that great scent but if it doesn't last what's the point if it's not lasting and they could have done something about it it's just money grab right that means you're just gonna buy more but it's not lasting not for me that's fair and honestly for me it's a hot i know that sounds weird because like i don't reach for it as often in 2018 2019 but for one of those legacy scents that are notorious with like an era of some sort that makes any sense kind of when it came out you know a decade ago ish it's a signature scent for like all areas you know we're talking any occasion any time exactly versatility yeah and actually the lack of performance helps its versatility moving on to number seven Un jardin sur le Dill by hermes Otto. that's enough for me man that's enough just it doesn't move me there's something rancid smell in there it's just i don't know what it is it's supposed to be kind of swampy well guess what i don't want to smell like a swamp sorry i'm gonna say hot though mainly because i respect the storytelling that went into that scent does it evoke emotion for you because for me like when i smell something like it's got to move me i would say it does move me too because it to me smells like a garden by the now which is its namesake so I get the fruits, I get the swamp. It might not be the by the now, but garden by a swamp, I still think kind of smells nice. If you have a garden by the swamp, I'm judging you. Get a better garden, man. Next up, we have uh, the initial Aqua de Joe Eau de Toilette. Hot or not in 2019? Gotta give it up for it, man. It's hot. Legacy. That one right there is timeless. It will always be good. That's true. When I said that the one is notorious in my city and I was kind of biased to that, Aqua de Joe is notorious, notorious everywhere. everywhere in the world. When it comes to recommending a fresh fragrance, I seldom recommend it just because you're probably asking me for a recommendation because you are tired of wearing it. So that's why I would say not. Don't get me wrong, Aqua de Joe like spawned all of these, like everybody totally. took inspiration for it, right? And that genre, but yeah, so it's a hot for me. But next up, we have Blood de Chanel Eau de Toilette by Chanel, hot or not? Not. BBC never moved me, to be honest. Maybe I'm uh, anosmic to it. I never got blow to Chanel. I don't get Sauvage. It just doesn't. Yeah, the shower gel bombs, it's not for me. It's you. not for me. I get the importance to people. I understand it, yeah. but it's not for me. So that's a nah. I'm definitely going to say hot. Honestly, the grapefruit way too juicy. Uh, I don't really f with the showery elements as hard as everyone else does on a compliment level. But honestly, to me, it's one of the best designer level openings. And I'm still looking. Moving on, believe it or not, this is really high on the most rated as far as the amount of votes. Encore Noir by Lalique. 
Ancre Noir, you know what? Powder Noir. The first time I smelled Ancre Noir, I loved it. Okay, I smelled it in a store, and I was on bass notes, and somebody said something like dried ink, and that ruined it for me. Since that triggered, that That's triggered what in my head. To do, fam. No, but it just ruined it for me. I was like, whenever I smell it now, I just get like ink. And when I was a kid in school, like we used to like ride with a lot of pens in my school uniforms. Pens would get stained in it, and I have a lot of bad experience with ink staining on my arms and yeah, on my fingers yeah. and that. So, eh, so. I get the brilliance, but nah, it's not. I'm definitely gonna say hot. Uh, storytelling and functionality, we're talking uh, perfect fall and winter staple for not that hell of a lot of a price if you are looking for something unique that gets you through the weather. I'm not personally the biggest fan of Ankh Noir, but I do direct a lot of people to that scent because of the fact that they are looking for something like that. Moving on, number three, uh, Eau de Toilette, Pair d'Hermes by Hermes, hot or not? Hot, just straight like that. If you're looking for a good vetiver scent, somebody who doesn't like the earthy, super earthy, dirty vetivers, that's the one. One of the best orange scents on the market on the designer level, without a doubt. Followed up with a hell of a lot of ISO V Super, which is what makes it nice and woody. It's always a scent that I always tell myself I can recommend to a blue collar kind of guy because of how rugged it is, but it is also something that I recommend to someone who's like white collar in a higher up position because of how brazen it is yeah, I see in it. a white collar level. I see it in the office for sure. Definitely hot. Oh my god. Alright, moving on to number two most rated on the Fabrantica men's slash unisex level. Tobacco Bani by Tom Ford. Hot or not? I would say TV hot because like the, the hype it got was justified, the rating is justified so yeah, I can wrap with that. It kind of started the tobacco craze into mid to late 2000s, coming out in 2007. But uh, for this to be the predominant DNA, you know, when it comes to a sweet tobacco, you got to with tobacco, Benny. I would say it's definitely hot. Scent-wise, sillage-wise, I do prefer it still over a lot of what's out there when it comes to vanilla tobaccos. But let's be real, all these alternatives don't exist if it wasn't for this one. And it's still here to stay. So. And mind you, I live in a very, very like cold climate during the winter time, and tobacco Benny is just... It's amazing in the winter. And last but not least, we have the most rated for Granica scent for unisex and men's. Is it hot or not? We're talking Eau de Toilette, La Nuit de Long. I say not simply because reformulations. If I also recommend that to somebody, what's in the market right now? Trash. Watered down, not good enough. It's enough for me, man. It's funny because the watered down stuff still works off my skin. Like that warm, spicy style, that cardamom, along with the aromatics, that historically does well on my skin. I also think, and I know this sounds weird, that lack of performance is something that a lot of normal ass people don't want something that's going to project furthermore. Yeah, but La Nuit is a winter scent, okay? I live in a climate, if it's minus 35 outside, and I'm bundled up and I'm going out in the cold, the least you could do is smell me, man. I'm depressed, I'm tired, you gotta smell me at least. I wanna feel great, feel good. I respect that. Yeah, so yo, I need that projection, man. But for me, it's kind of like reaching for it as a dumb reach right now. Yes, I wish it was friendlier with its projection, but it ain't. But yeah, I guess it's hot. But there it is for him. Thanks again for tuning in. We really appreciate it. This was Hot or Not Designer Fragrance Edition. I actually really enjoyed doing this. And to anybody out there, if I diss your favorite fragrance, haha. -ha. I meant to diss it. I'm joking. Um, it's all opinion based. Yeah, we're just having fun. To be honest, it's kind of a big ass to do a video like this because of the fact that you're kind of meshing its legacy versus what's happening with it right now. Exactly. Yeah, like if somebody had the OG bottle of Le Mans based on what it is right now, my feeling of, of it and his feeling of it is going to be completely different, right? Like, yeah, totally. But yeah, not a whole lot else to say. 500 likes and a random subscriber in the comments gets an assorted niche fragrance sample pack. So please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. But yeah, until then, take care. Peace out. Bye. Thanks again. Where are your fragrances?